Hello, this is a short video They're displaying a problem I found, or I think I found, in the DP25, the Pentec DP25 differential probe that you can see here. This one is sold under the RS brand, as you can see there. I think it's sold under a number of different brands, just re-labeled. I think it's all the same thing. And I also think they don't sell this one anymore. They sell a slightly different one. So I didn't test that. I only tested this one. I didn't test other units. Um, I only have one probe, so I cannot really compare it. I don't know if this is an incidental mistake or a structural problem. So, one of the reasons of this video is if you have this probe and you see the same problem, uh, please let me know or something like that, or at least be aware that the problem may arise at your side too. I got a replacement. It's the Mixic DP20003, as you can see here. Uh, the old one was a 200 times, 50 times, and 20 times attenuation probe. I only use 200 basically for mains measurements. Uh, this one is 200 and 2000 times. I never use a 2000 times, just a 200. They have a slightly uh, cheaper version, DP01013, well, I think, or something like that. Same bandwidth, uh, except the attenuation settings of those are super weird. So for mains, you have a very small signal. and. Um, it, doesn't make sense, so that's why I got this one. And it uh, looks quite nice. As a measurement setup, I have uh, this function generator, it's an 01. Uh, it goes to 25 megahertz, and you can al already see the problem with the uh, Pentex scope on 25 megahertz. Um, furthermore, I got this uh, extremely pro function generator. Uh, which can go to 60 megahertz sine wave. So that's um, you can show more of the problem with this one. That's the only reason I got it, so uh, that's a disclaimer right there. For scope, I use a Riggle DS1054, as you can see there, and uh, sufficient for this uh, for this test. So, um, BNC cable goes from signal signal generator to the scope, from the scope to the Mixic input, from the Mixic input to the Pentec input, and it's terminated with 50 ohm resistor. So. Um, Let's, uh, let's zoom in on the scope and I'll tell what, what's going on. This is the signal from the function generator. Right now it's uh, about, what is it, 2 megahertz or something like that? Yeah, 1.7 megahertz. So, this signal is the output of the Pentec scope uh, probe. So, right now I don't care about noise. I don't care about... Um, uh, actually, I don't think it has a zero offset or you have to open it up and adjust a pot meter to... to Calibrate the DC offset. The, pin, the Mixic one has a nice function where you can press both, but both buttons and then uh, it zeroes itself. So uh, amplitude is fine at 2 megahertz. This one uh, is the Mixic probe. Amplitude is also fine. This one is very glitchy. The the Pentec one, I don't know why. It's, it's 60 kilohertz. Uh, I don't know where it comes from. And to be honest, I'm not really interested in that right now. So let's. Uh, Let's do a sweep, linear sweep from uh, basically DC to 60 megahertz in 6 seconds. So that's uh, 10 megahertz per second, something like that. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not so good. The Mixic one, the bottom, is uh, amplitude is sort of constant. It rolls off at a high uh, frequency. Um, input frequent, input signal is input signal. The Pentec one has a huge peak, I mean like 10 or 20 times uh, amplification at around exactly 25 megahertz. And the practical situation what I showed here was I was measuring glitches basically on mains. And um, if you happen to have a glitch with a 25 megahertz component, I guess you see a very exaggerated version of that. So it's actually lying at 25 megahertz, which is not so really nice. So that's basically uh, the problem. I can show it uh, a bit more graphically where it peaks. So the um, sweep took six seconds. It's a linear sweep, so that's uh, 10 megahertz per second. So uh, if you put the scope in roll mode, like this, you can essentially see where, uh, where everything is. So I hope these curtains are visible. The moving curtain now is uh, now at the start, so that's basically DC. The other cursor by uh, 
eating the seconds value there. This is uh, 2.8 seconds from the start, so that would be 28 megahertz. 30 megahertz, and this is 60 megahertz. So this is one sweep cycle. So, as you can see, the input signal rolls off a little bit, and then comes back. So it's not not uh, it's not perfect. The um, mix signal is, I think, that's quite acceptable. It rolls off a little bit here, but the uh, input signal becomes less. So that's that's pretty obvious. And at high frequencies, it becomes a bit less. So that's fine. However, the Pentec one, so you see at uh, 3.5 seconds from the start. So that's uh, Oh, sorry, at 1.9 seconds from the start, let's say 20 megahertz, it has a dip right there at the moving cursor. And if you go further, at around where the cursor is now at uh, 2.5 seconds, so that's 25 megahertz, pretty much spot on 25 megahertz, it has a huge amplification, that's 10 or 20 times. So it is completely useless at that frequency. And uh, more towards 60 megahertz, it rolls off a little bit and it comes back a little bit. So. Um, yeah, that's basically the problem. So thanks for watching. If you have this uh, DP25 probe as well, and you see the same problem, or you you can be bothered to do the same test or similar test, then uh, please let me know. I think I won't use this one again. I'll use this one. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.